Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> and how are you this morning? Are you good? Are you good? Did you wake up this morning saying, Oh, thank you, God, you've given me another day. Given me another day. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't ask myself if, what my name was this morning. I was afraid to. <laughs> because, you know, it might be different than what I think it is. You know, I've been reading a lot of articles about dementia. And I go, oh, no, if I get up in the morning, what if I introduce myself to somebody else? Like I'm someone else. <laughs> What do you think about that, Connor? What do you think about that? That's Connor this morning. See, he's sitting in my lap. He's sitting in my lap. Aren't you? He's been eating a little chew bone, so he's pretty happy. He's pretty happy. Yes, he is, except when he's growling. When he's growling. <laughs> he's pretty happy. Okay. This morning is like uh, sun shining. It's uh, 41 41 degrees here this morning. No wonder I had to turn the heat on this morning. Yes, I like uh, I like it when it's a new day, don't you? And the first thing I did this morning after, you know, I had to feed the animals first. And Clyde's not well. I don't know what's wrong with Clyde. I uh, found him this morning in the middle of the kitchen. Just laying there. So I went over and pet him, and he didn't want me to pet him. Then he crawled about 30 feet and decided, that's as far as I want to go right now. You know, he's real old. But he's been running and barking at squirrels, you know. So I don't know if he just got a tummy ache or his back hurts or, you know. I guess doggies can feel down too. I don't know. But he shouldn't. He eats well and usually he barks at people, you know, and he's been doing that. So this morning was just an unusual morning for him. And I know I'm talking about my animals, but they're my little buddies that I can hug and talk to. And I do talk to them. <laughs> but... Uh, I wish sometimes they could talk back. <laughs> oh, my goodness, yes. <laughs> my sister came over to visit uh, a while yesterday, and we watched a video of this uh, lady. I guess she lives in Russia or Denmark or somewhere far away out in the woods. And she has this little cottage that she's built and decorated. And the video shows her. This is Joanne's, Joanne's cottage or something like that. But it's, according to the video, for what I watched, it looks like it's far, far out in the hills somewhere. And she's got her little cottage. She's... And she's preparing for Christmas in this video. And she doesn't speak a word. You don't ever, I mean, I haven't seen her say a word. So it's all music and her and her little house. And she does different kinds of crafts and stuff. And so she's sitting in there decorating and she's walking around. And, and everything is just so beautiful. To watch that it will just calm you down yeah I think you'd like it it's sort of peaceful even when you're crocheting or whatever you're doing uh, that uh, you need a little peace and quiet or just to be centered and it's really good eye candy too between the music and the and the home uh, activities in the house. It's hard for me to explain unless you've seen it. Uh, I'll, I'll try my best to put the link in the um, description if I can find it again. My sister watches it and she likes it very much and she said it makes her happy. 
Well, when I'm watching the video with her, I'm thinking she's got an adorable little she shed out there in the back, you know. And I, I can imagine her out in her she shed doing the things that this lady's doing in her little house. And then she doesn't have to talk or anything. She just piddles in her house and you watch her by music. And it's quite enchanting. And that's the word I overuse. But but when I find something that I can say is enchanting, that's something I really, really like. And I believe uh, that you would enjoy. Um, most people uh, who are as old as me, <laughs> I'll put it this way, younger than me, <laughs> may have a little trouble identifying with what's going on, but uh, for me, it feels like I, when I was watching it, that it felt like it could have been at my mama's house. Of course, my mama didn't do all those things like that, but it was the same kind of feeling I got through the screen. I'm watching this YouTube channel. Very, very good. Very, very good. <clears throat> My sister took me to Dollar Store yesterday. And uh, I really had a good time. Well, it was very busy. We didn't go there until, I guess, 4.30 in the afternoon. Very, very busy. And this one guy, bless his heart, he'd come in and he'd picked up a drink out of one of the Coke machines or something, and he liked 10 cents paying for it. Well, I was like three people back from him, and my sister was ahead of me, and uh, evidently, he was at the register first, so it was him, my sister, and me, and then the people behind us checking out. And neither one of us heard that he needed 10 cents. Or one of us would have given him 10 cents so he could get his drink. He looked like he'd been running or something and was thirsty and he just didn't have the change with him. You know, he's a jogger or something. And after he left, I felt sort of sad that I didn't even hear or, you know, was aware that I could have... Uh, help him out. Of course, I didn't have 10 cents, but I would have put it on my bill or something, you know. But, uh, anyway, as, as we waited and waited, and he kept saying, well, he's going to go get some money. Well, evidently, he was still running, and so he was running home, but we didn't know that, and the cashier was waiting. And we waited a long time after she told us what the problem was. And then, he fi then she finally decided, you know, after she's looking out the window, and my sister's looking out the window, everybody's looking out the window, and we're saying, is that him? No. Is that him? No. Oh, there's someone there. Is that him? No. And so it was like a guessing game for a while. <laughs> and finally the cashier says, well, let me check you out. So he, she set the drink aside and, and uh, continued started to check out my sister. So I was uh, <laughs> standing in line looking at all the, the goodies. You know, they've got all kinds of goodies by the checkout. <laughs> and you know, I get out so seldom that that's like, again, eye candy. And literally eye candy. There's candy all in there. There's paydays and snicker bars and and here I am. I can't have any sweets that I'm looking at them as I said. So I'm talking myself out of it. You know how you're, you're, you're in your own little world there as I was in the checkout. And I was thinking, oh, no, that payday would be so good. No nuts. Now, these are the things I'm thinking. I'm just looking at the candy. I don't know what people think about it. I don't think they even notice me. I'm invisible, right? <laughs> Old people are invisible. And uh, somebody came up, the, me, the person behind me thought I was in a trance, I guess. And she says, ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> And I turned around and looked at her. She said, are you okay? 
And I said, oh, yes. I, I said, I'm just looking at that candy. I'm an addict. Well, she cracked up so bad. And I was thinking, why is that so funny? And she's just dying laughing. I don't know why. I don't know why. I mean, what would be the reason for her to die laughing? But she did. She just... Oh, just laughing and laughing. <laughs> so I decided maybe I should just laugh with her. So I did. I laughed with her. <laughs> and we're sitting there, we standing there in line just laughing for no reason that I can figure out. Well, then here comes the guy that's <laughs> that left soda pop, right? <laughs> And he gets, he gets in line, uh, and so uh, he waits patiently, and he gets him a new pop, okay, a different kind of drink, some kind of Gatorade or something like that. And uh, he gets in line, and I'm watching him, and the lady behind me, she's laughing, and she it waves at one of her friends in the other checkout which only has two people in it and so she left the line and went over there to the new other line leaving him right behind me <laughs> and he's breathing so hard and I said are you all right and he couldn't talk he was breathing so hard from running I guess to get that 10 cents but uh, uh I didn't say a word to him except uh, are you all right <laughs> And he went, <laughs> so I don't know how far he ran to get his 10 cents. No. I, th I said, you know, have you ever done something like that? And you go, you know, I could have really made it <laughs> different for him. I mean, I had the power if I had known and was aware. And then I'm thinking, you know, whatever happens to each one of us is not planned. It's, it's in a path, you know, e either... And it's according to what your activity in their path or your path uh, is just coincidence, you know. Uh, when I think say, things happen, you know, like somebody would give me a dime, then I would say, oh, it's a blessing. But what if you need a dime and nobody gives you a dime and you don't have a dime, you have no resource, <laughs> so you run home and get your money? So what that tells me is we all have to deal with whatever we have to deal with the way we deal with things, which may be better than somebody giving us 10 cents. Now, does that make any sense? I don't think so. It makes 10 cents, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, do I have a dime in my purse? So when I got home, I looked in my purse and I didn't have a dime. And I was thinking, I didn't even have a nickel. I didn't even have two nickels. I mean, I didn't. I didn't have any pennies. I didn't have. Any, I did not have any change in my purse. And I was thinking, well, I could have helped. Couldn't have helped him that way anyway. Maybe that's telling me I need to put change in my purse. <laughs> so I got my piggy bank, got it out. I said, I'm gonna put some dimes and nickels and quarters because I don't want that to happen to me or. I want to be able to help somebody, so I want to have me time. Now, is that insane or what? It could be insane, but it's the way I think. It's the way I think. But I will tell you, at the dollar store, the shelves were not as full as usual. No. And I got a uh, can of loaf meat. I got uh, the rata potted meat. They had sardines. I got a thing of sardines. And I got a can of chicken. And I think I got five cans of tuna. I might have got more of the chicken than that. Yes. And then I found these this little brush that you put, you know, you put it in warm butter. You don't put it right near fire. So what you do is you make like sauces and stuff. And you put this little brush in what you call that little brush but it's really cute it's red and you dip it in your sauce you make and you spread it over meat or toast or it's sort of like a little spreader except it's a brush and why why i needed it because i saw one of the youtubers use it for everything and i said 
I need one of those. And they were a dollar and a quarter at the dollar store. Also, they had a little tiny, uh, little uh, spatula. Is that what it is when you turn eggs? Egg turner? I used to call them. I don't know. <laughs> but I call it egg turner. But they had a little tiny one. And I said, you know, that's just perfect for my little egg that I turn in my saucepan or taking that the waffle out of that tiny waffle uh, iron. I got a waffle iron that's this big. That big. I'm, I'm not kidding you. For one person. And that was, I think it was $12.99 from Walmart or I think it was. I had... Uh, but I didn't get it. My sister had given it to me. And it has been invaluable, that little machine. I mean, I just make a little tiny pancake, make a, you know, cup up a pancake batter and put it in a little container. And then all you have to do is take two or three tablespoons. It didn't even take that much according to how thick your peanut butter, peanut batter, your pancake <laughs> Peanut butter, pancake batter is, but you just spoon it on there and you pull it down when the light gets red and then you put it down and when light, no, is it the other way around? Anyway, I know why it is when I see it, but you put the little uh, waffle batter in there, pancake batter, and pick it up and it's hard to get it out because it's uh, not that it sticks, it's just to grab it without scratching it with my huge egg turner. So I got this little bitty one and it just slips right under there and just perfect and pulls that little waffle out. So I just love it. So somehow or another, I'm going to put it, hang it somewhere right there next to my little waffle art because it's so sweet. And then that way I can grab it to uh, turn an egg in my skillet. The only thing about that is that, uh, if I want to uh, use it to cook a little egg, I have to go up to the stove you know? <laughs> and carry my little my little spatula, and I got it blue, you know, blue like this. <laughs> but it is so cute, so cute, it's, but really invaluable to me. Now, if I could only find some little tiny little things I could put in my hand that I can uh, pick up and turn over you know, something without, but I think the little, uh, the little, uh, I'm, I'm, I know what I'm talking about, that little spatula or little, uh, egg turner, <laughs> I think it's going to be very useful even for turning, uh, small omelets, you know, because you use that huge egg turner and it's just too big. It really is. I try to use it, and it will fit into the pan, uh, but it's just so big, you know, and a little one's much better. Anyway, I'm in the miniatures, I guess. <laughs> well, I'm continuing on here with my, um, my scarf, and I'm getting ready to add the new color. And this will go, in fact, that's what I'm trying to do while I'm talking, is tie a little knot and continue with this. Uh, and drink my coffee. Connor's taking a nap on my lap here. And, and so I'm just going to sit here. I may turn on that YouTube channel I was telling you about. And watch it. And uh, so I can get the name of it. I think it's Joann's. It's not spelled like Joe, like a Joanne we know, or is it? I don't, I can't remember. Anyway, I'll try to put a link in here. If I can refine it and copy the link to you. But all, all is well. I'm talking, just visiting this morning. I'm so glad you dropped by. I didn't check the comments this morning. And... Let's they have a look, see someone. I should visit with this morning, which is everyone that I can, because I love visiting. Thank you. Uh, and seeing if uh, let's see, I got this. I got this. I'm getting better at this. You know that. 
<laughs> or I think I am. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, here's oh, here's Bonnie Myers. Good morning, Bonnie. I have three wonderful children. My babies are 36, 43, and 46. Haven't had haven't got to crochet uh, in a couple of weeks. Having trouble with my arm. Oh, I'm sorry. Go to the doctor tomorrow. Well, I'll be this. That's today. I, I'm assuming. Well, good luck at the doctor today, Bonnie. Sounds like your babies are like my babies. <laughs> They're grown up babies. <laughs> Good to hear from you, Bonnie. And here's, oh, here's Anna Zombie Frog Jordan. Good morning to you, dear. <laughs> well, good morning, Mimo. I slept with a, uh, a, a, a big pack, C pack, and I also have congestive heart failure, and I'm 49 years old and have heart problems when I was born. I tried to keep going, but sometimes it limits me to do too much. So, in a in so different kinds of medication, and I think God that my meds are covered because God knows I couldn't wouldn't know where to get the money. I probably have to live in a care in a cave. <laughs> Lol. Right now, I work for a company called Ship It. I make my own hours. I'm my own boss and happy. And I also make a little change. I am so glad that my YouTube stopped by you because I was sad that. And ever since that, I cannot stop not seeing your videos. You are the awesomest person I've ever seen. You remind me of my Mima. I love her, and I miss her so greatly. I miss all my grandparents. I wish I could see them again. Well, Mima, like I said, you're awesome. B-Y-W, God bless everyone by the way well how sweet yes i have congested heart failure also my dear and take a great deal of medicine and i do believe uh that we live in a time where medicine can keep us going and it is unfortunate that we have to do that but compared to my family's history with the heart disease I've lived longer than most. <laughs> so I do believe the medicines are taking care of us. And and uh, having a job, I'm so glad that you have a job that will uh, allow you to take care of yourself and still make a living. And that is hard to do because the uh, the years before my retirement, it was very difficult to sustain myself and work and be able to work. But then when I retired, Social Security kicked me into a, a different, a low income, I mean really low income. But, but uh, the Medicare, of course, as my age went by, uh, first I was paying a great deal of money, and I still pay a great deal of money every month for insurance, Medicare, and subsidized. But... Uh, Without it, I wouldn't be here. I, uh, my medicine sustains me. And um, I'm sure if I couldn't get my medicine that, uh, you know, my days would be counted by the Lord. But other than that, we are still here. And there you are working, and I just know you're adorable. I just know you are. And... Uh, <laughs> I, I really am proud of you. I am proud of you. You've had heart disease all your life, and look at you. You're still going, and you're looking good. You really are. I can see you in my mind. Yes, I can. And everything's going to be fine as long as we keep thinking it will be and get up and keep going and not drag ourselves down. No, tell yourself a funny joke. Hi. 
do. <laughs> I look in the mirror in the morning and say, hey, gorgeous. <laughs> now that's a joke. <laughs> or I say, hello, darling. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, <laughs> I'm a little bizarre sometimes, but life is, is bizarre. You know it. <laughs> and here's who knows. He says, hello, Maribel. Oh, gosh, y'all know each other. That's great. That's great. Maribel is hooked. Hi, me, Mom. My son came to visit on the 1st of January. He will be here for another week. Oh, so grateful. <laughs> says, I'm so grateful. We had a nice Christmas, but I miss my son so. My condolences to all those that have suffered a loss. It is hard to lose a pet that we've loved so long. So happy you're doing well, as well as Connor. Take care. Much love. Much love to you, Mayor Bell. <laughs> to you also. And to your son, tell him hello for me. <laughs> and say, do your mama right. Do your mama right. <laughs> he will. He loves you. I can tell. Just by the way you talk about him, he's, he's got to love you. <laughs> he has no choice. <laughs> Maribel is hooked. Oh, you made... You made me laughing, talking a, a lot, Charlie. Oh, when I was talking about Charlie, oh yeah. <laughs> when I when he barked at me because he didn't know who I was, I had to get my ID out. Oh, Charlie, that's Charlie's my dog, <laughs> or was my dog, but uh, Charlie's gone. Okay, I can't think about sad things today. <laughs> so tragic for pa tragic law passing. Well, thank you, dear. The memories will always be there. <laughs> um, and Meemaw continues. She says, hi, Meemaw. Really good to see you. Well, it's good to see you. And happy 2023. Hope you had an awesome holiday. So good to see you. I'm behind. I'm behind on videos. Catching up now. <laughs> well, I'm glad you are out there. And you're doing well. You're precious. And here's Joy Bird. Oh, Joy Bird. I see now. I use Dream 9 Design. How to crochet slipper socks for beginners. I use Red Heart number 4. Uh, I work till it reaches bottom of heel. And then I follow the rest of the way. You can change stitches and measure as you go to fit your foot. Oh, the baby on the fridge is adorable. Yes, those are my, that's my, uh, my nieces. <laughs> my grand nieces. That, and uh, they are precious. Everyone, every one of them. They're all little girls. <laughs> It's precious. I miss it. I just can't see them every day. But I do because they send me, um, a Stacy, their mama sends me pictures. Now, I don't have a picture of the new baby yet, but I'm sure I'll get one soon and put up there. Catherine, Mar Catherine Margaret, yes. Uh, she was the one. She was born in Mississippi about six weeks old. I mean, six pounds. So <laughs> she was a little tiny thing. <laughs> Oh, here's Daniel. Hey, Daniel. Hello from Montreal. Yes, a new year filled with color crochet. I like very much three colors. Blue, white, and gray of the blanket on your chair. Oh, thank you. I do too. I, I like it very much. Hey, I'm falling into plums. <laughs> Oh, I've read this, but it's really fun. I have two projects in, in starting mode for my cousin of mine. One of them is a shawl in the color plum that was not easy to find because the plum color is not really the same depending on the brand of schemes you get. Finally, she chooses Plum Perfect from Karen Brand. Uh, 
quick, dark, a bit of brownish undertones. Very nice. And a full daylight. Very chic, <laughs> she says. <laughs> Ooh la la. <laughs> Say la vie. Stay in the loop. Bye-bye for now. Well, I bet that would be... Uh, um, good to wear that that plum that she's picked out. She could wear it with khaki and brown corduroy. Wouldn't that be pretty? Mm -hmm. Very in tune color, I do believe. Very in tune color. Nice hearing from you. Oh. <laughs> uh, Let's see. I think I read Teresa's. Let's see. Yes, I'm pretty sure I did. Well, there you go. Another day for all of us. Thank you for commenting and being a part of, of, of the community that we've created of love and understanding. And remember, God has you in the palm of his hand. Pray for Mother Earth, the birds, the bees, the flowers, and the trees, and for each other, because we're all in this great big world together. And you might need a dime for someone. Put a dime in your purse. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you tomorrow.